In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Good morning, Father. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my food, to my food, to my most grievous food. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star. Grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Isaiah spoke poetically of the glorious future which God had in store for Jerusalem. The Church applies this eschatological vision to herself, the New Jerusalem, blessed by the special presence of the incarnate Son of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Mijan and Epha, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. 
the word of the lord thanks be to god With your judgment in do the king, and with your justice the king's son, he shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Today, St. Paul reminds us that the barrier of estrangement between the Jews and the Gentiles was shattered by Jesus Christ. All are invited to form one single people of God under His Headship. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, and it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles are co-heirs members of the same body and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand there. We saw his star at its rising and had come to do him homage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising, and 
have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed from their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ipinagdiriwang po natin ngayon ang piyesta ng Epepanya o mas kilala sa piyesta ng Tatlong Hari. Kumisang tawag sa kanila ay Tatlong Haring Mago o tatlong haring pantas. Ibig sabihin ng pantas ay marunong dalubhasa. Kasi sila ay tatlong haring marurunong. At bakit sila marunong? May ginawa silang tatlong mahalagang bagay. Sila ay marunong sumunod, marunong sumamba, at marunong mag-alay. Una, sila ay marunong sumunod. Sumunod sila sa tala. Ang tala, liwanag. Ang liwanag, pinapawi ang dilim, nagdadala ng katotohanan. Kaya ang liwanag, simbolo ng katotohanan. At ang katotohanan, nanggagaling sa Diyos. Kaya itong tatlong haring marunong, Marunong sumunod sa katotohanan ng Diyos. Hindi sa kung saan-saan nanggagaling na katotohanan. Ang katotohanan nanggagaling sa Diyos. Kasi may mga ibang katotohanan na galing sa kung saan-saan. Galing sa iba. Galing lang sa tao. Kaya maraming fake news eh. Kasi katotohanan hindi nanggagaling sa Diyos. Itong tatlong hari, marunong. Marunong sumunod sa katotohanan. Alam nila ang tama ay tama. At ang mali ay mali. Hindi sila sumunod kay Herodes. Si Herodes, hari. Pero hindi haring marunong. Haring tuso. Bakit? Sapagkat, nang malaman niya na dumating ko tatlong haring marurunong, sabi na, sabihin niyo sa akin kung nasaan yung sanggol na hinahanap niyo. Sa ganun, ako rin ay makasamba sa kanya. Ngunit iba ang pakay niya. Kasi pag malaman niyo kung nasaan yung sanggol, papatayin niya. 
kasi natatakot siyang agawin ng kanyang kaharian. Kaya sa'y haring tuso. Hindi lang tuso, sinunganin at manloloko. Yung tatlong hari marunong, sumunod sila sa Diyos, hindi kay Herodes. Ang mga taong marunong, marunong sumunod sa katotohanan na nanggagaling sa Diyos. Kaya tawag sa kanila ay marunong. Marunong sumunod sa katotohanan. Pero, kapag ka ikaw ay sumusunod sa kasinungalingan, sa, kat- sa kalokohan, sa pandilin lang, at kahit paulit-ulit na naginagawa sa iyo, tawag sa iyo ay hindi marunong, tawag sa iyo ay uto-uto. Ang tatlong hari, sumunod sa Diyos, hindi kay Herodes. Pangalawa, sila ay marunong sumamba. Nang makita nilang sanggol, lumuhod sila sa tunay na Diyos. Marunong silang sumunod sa tunay na Diyos. Sumamba sa tunay ng Diyos. Ang taong marunong sumasamba sa tunay na Diyos. Totoong Diyos. Hindi Diyos Diyosan. Sapakat may mga taong hindi alam kung ano ang tunay na Diyos at kung ano ang mga Diyos Diyosan. Kasi may mga taong ginagawang Diyos ang pera, kapangyarihan, posisyon, kamanduhan. Parang hindi na namamalayan, pero yun ang kanyang dinidiyos. Minsan, si Jesus ay tinukso yung demonyo. Sabi sa kanya, sambahin mo ako at ibibigay ko sa iyo ang lahat ng kayamanan ng mundo. Anong sabi sa, sa kanya ni Jesus? Umalis ka, demonyo. Sambahin mo lang ang tunay na Diyos. Ang taong totoong marunong, marunong sumamba sa tunay na Diyos. Tulad ng ginagawa nyo ngayon, nagdadasal, taimtim na nagdadasal, nagsisimba, sumasamba sa tunay na Diyos. Pangatlo, ang tatlong haring marunong, marunong mag-alay. Nang makita nila ang sanggol, binuksan nilang kanilang mga daladala at inialay nila ang kanilang daladala. Marunong silang magbigay. Bukas ang kanilang mga kamay. Hindi sila madamot. Marunong magbahagi. Ang totoong marunong, ang taong marunong mamuno, ang inuuna niya ang iba, hindi ang kanyang sarili. Ang inisip niya ay, ano ang aking maibibigay, hindi ano ang aking makukuha. Hindi sa makasarili, marunong sang tumulong, lalo-lalo na sa mga nangangailangan. Hindi niya ginagamit ang kanyang kapangyarihan ng posisyon upang aggawin ang pag-aari ng iba. Hindi niya ginagamit ang kanyang kapangyarihan upang samsamin ang pag-aari ng mga walang kalaban-laban. Sa halip, may puso siya. Marunong magmalasakit. Marunong maawa. Marunong magbigay. At ang kanyang binibigay ay hindi lang material na bagay. Hindi. Marunong siya magbigay ng pagmamahal. Marunong siya magbigay ng respeto. Marunong siya magbigay ng katarungan. Marunong siya magbigay ng awa at 
patawad. Yan ang taong marunong. Kaya yan na yan ang tatlong haring marurunong. Marunong sumunod sa katotohanan ng Diyos. Marunong sumamba sa tunay na Diyos. At marunong mag-alay tulad ng pag-aalay ng Diyos. Hilingin natin sa ating Panginoon, sa ating mahal na ina, na sa pagsimula natin ng taon na ito, sanay matularan din natin ang tatlong haring marunong. Marunong sumunod. Marunong sumamba. Marunong mag-alay. At kailanman hindi naghahari, harian. Si tayo po tayo. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, to Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was the incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, was spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Encouraged by the example of the Magi, the three wise men, we present our gifts and petitions to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, the New Jerusalem, to which the Lord calls all the peoples of the world, may she always be a resplendent sign of God's universal love. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father and all other spiritual leaders, may their teaching and example be like bright stars that lead people to Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our missionaries, may they succeed in integrating the gospel values with the local cultures. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of the Christian denominations and the followers of all religious and cultures, may they participate in respectful dialogue and for the creation of a peaceful and just society. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each one of us gathered here, may we always follow the guidance of God's word as presented by the Church. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, like Jerusalem, we rise up in splendor because your light has come. May our behavior become like a star that leads others to you who live and shine forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but He, who by them is proclaimed, sacrifice and receive Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this, is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command, then formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat. Please stand. Let us pray. Go before us with heaven and light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy po nating pagnilay-nilayan at isa buhay ang mensahe ng ating Ebanghelyo para sa misang ito. Tularan natin ang tatlong haring marunong. Marunong sumunod sa katotohanan ng Diyos. Marunong sumamba sa tunay na Diyos. At marunong mag-alay tulad ng pag-alay ng Diyos. At huwag tayong maghari harian The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Mayon po yung dasal para sa mga may sakit, yung mga may sakit po na naririto po ngayon. At kahit wala po rito, pero naalaala po natin sila at maring ang kanilang sakit o karamdaman ay mas maluba kaysa sa atin, isama po natin sila sa dasal na ito. Marahan po nating banggitin ang kanilang mga pangalan. 
Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. Ngayon po, yung pagbindisyon ng mga religious articles. Huwag na po kayo umalis sa inyong mga kinaroroonan. Kami na po ang lalapit sa inyo. Pakitaas lamang po ng mga pabibindisyonan po ninyo. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulars, crucifixes, prayer books, and the articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.